Hey guys, don't go anywhere. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Darth Vader Black Series Elite lightsaber from Hasbro. But not just that, I'm also going to be comparing it to the Black Series lightsaber and the Galaxy's Edge Legacy lightsaber. So don't go anywhere, guys. Hey, thank you so much for checking out my video. This is Finding the Force, and I will be your host, Obi Dad Kenobi. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. On this channel, I cover everything Star Wars, but I have a very special place in my heart for lightsabers. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So please feel free to click that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And at any point in the video, if you feel the urge to mash that like button too, that also helps. And uh, let's get this video started. It seems like a new lightsaber has come out this year, almost every month. <laughs> it's hard to cover any other Star Wars news. So I'm not sure if you guys caught my last video on Hasbro's Black Series Elite lightsaber. It was the Princess Leia. And the thing was just a hair shy of a dumpster fire. I don't know if like mine was broken, but I've heard a lot of the complaints that I was having from other people. I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one. So when you're done watching this, it'll be ready for you at the end. So the big question is, is this going to be the same mess of electronics that the Princess Leia was? So let's get this video started and find out. So let's talk about the features that we can expect to see as is shown on the box here, right? Right now, the Sabre should be retailing at about $280 brand new. Woo! Dang! Christmas rolls around, be looking for those sales, okay? And what it comes with is the stand, a crystal, the blade, the lightsaber. No belt clip. And that's what it comes with. The kind of features that you can expect are flash on clash, blaster deflect, lava tip, and lockup. And there's actually a fifth feature for the first time ever has added a new feature to the Black Series Elite Sabers called Battle Mode. And we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so let's open this up, huh? Hey, hey, there it is. That was fast. Unboxing takes so much time. The Darth Vader Black Series Elite lightsaber I'm holding in my hand. First impressions, it's a clean design. I really like it. I know there's several different Darth Vader configurations to his lightsaber throughout the movies. This is my favorite. I believe it's called the Empire Strikes Back configuration when you see these really cool wires sticking out of the upper half of the saber. I think they're interesting. They're a nice kind of dash of color. And without them, I think the saber looks kind of plain like the regular Black Series one. We'll get to that in a minute. And over the years, I've come to really appreciate the bubble strip. I think it looks vintage. It reminds me of the original trilogy, so I really like that. Comment down below if this knob that sticks out of the activation box here is supposed to be sticking out so much. It kind of, it's going to get snag on something. It's going to poke you in the hand. It's not comfortable, but it's there if it's accurate to the replica. So let me know in the comments, please. The metal is not chromed. It has these striations. It's like a polished uh, metal. So like, I don't think scratches are going to stand out as much, which I really like. The grip is super sturdy, no wiggling of the grip pieces, very accurate having the alternating screws down below. And the back side of the saber, and let me get, this is the two things that drive me crazy about the design of this lightsaber. I haven't seen Darth Vader lightsaber at this price point with this really obnoxious D-ring that keeps bouncing around. It's loose, it's way too loose. And that sound drives me nuts. So when you're trying to like enjoy your saber and you're moving it around, you can hear the clicking of the belt clip. Here, can you guys see that? So right out of the box, you guys are going to want to, I, I don't know, find some way to stick them, stick up this, this connection here. I don't know how or with what. Um, the emitter of the saber is a really neat sandy texture. So anything you try to tape to, it's not going to, to work with the belt clip. But this is driving me crazy already. And the video just started. I don't even know how long. The other thing that I'm not crazy about is on the back side, there's a sticker saying this is how you remove the battery pack from the Sabre and you take out the little bitty screw. You need like a special hobbyist uh, screwdriver to take out the screw. And if you lose it, your Sabre is going to look funny missing one of the screws. Leave a comment down below, guys, if you want to guess why they put these tiny little screws to secure the chassis from now on. Maybe they were getting complaints about them falling on the ground and breaking a lot. And 
That's a downside to buying a Black Series lightsaber is that the blades aren't interchangeable. You can't buy a blade, you can't buy parts for this. Um, most sabers you can't, but at least with Galaxy's Edge, and I'll be kind of comparing throughout the video, you can buy new or different size blades to your skill level or your preference. There's only one size blade to this, even though it has the advanced LEDs, but I, I'm not a rabbit, you're not a frog, so let's not jump ahead, okay? And also part of the design, the final component is this uh, little button on the back of the emitter is the auxiliary button. And that's the overall design of the Black Series Elite. Now, before we move on, here I have the original Black Series. Similar height, um, this configuration, which I think might be a new hope. Look at that, belt clip is super stiff and rigid. Barely moves, that's what I would expect from a belt clip. That's what I love to see, not the clanging. Um, especially when a belt clip, like with the Graflex or Luke Skywalkers, it can ding up the metal. So I, it, you know, I like the belt clips stiff. This bubble strip on the old Black Series is kind of shiny and uh, the grips don't have any screws. Hopefully that's staying true to the replica. I'm not too educated on Darth Vader replica sabers. And this is actually something that really sets off whatever OCD we all have is the emitter on this Black Series is like cocked to the side. Must be respecting the replica with that design flaw. I thought mine was broken when, when I first got it, but that is part of the design of this particular saber, which is by the way, like seven years old this year. It was made in 2015. And really the major selling point to the original Black Series from 2015 is the swing sensitivity, I call it, because it's not a smooth swing, but it's pretty darn close, especially for being seven years old, it still beats Galaxy's Edge. And let's compare the design with the Galaxy's Edge, which has the same configuration. And the first thing I notice is that the metal is brighter with the Black Series and also the overall hilt is thinner. It is about one size thinner, like it did, you know, worked out for a good month or two, lost a couple pounds. Ah! Compared to the Galaxy's Edge Legacy lightsaber, which also has a nice stiff belt clip. No clanging, no dinging silent swings. Another thing I noticed is that there are no letters on the Black Series, but there are the flash gun handle letters on the Legacy Saber. So that's a pretty cool detail. The thickness of the Saber is very, not it's not noticeable, especially if you had this on a shelf next to your Graflex here, you know, father and son, you, you really wouldn't be able to notice the difference. Very subtle. The rubber grip on the Legacy Saber is more of a rubber, that kind of catches your thumb. And the Black Series Elite is more of a hard plastic, so it depends on your preference, but they both have the alternating screws at the bottom. And of course, as we know, the Legacy Sabers have no auxiliary switch. All right, so let's jump into more of the features that this Saber has. And so what it comes with is this little tool. And we've seen this with a couple of the Sabers where you use the tool to unscrew this ring in the emitter and then out it comes. And it's this little ring that has uh, some texture to it on the inside and pretty easy to screw and unscrew. And then out comes kind of a gimmicky little trinket that this saber comes with, the Kyber crystal. You know what? I'm pretty confident that if Hasbro said, do you wanna buy the Kyber crystal with this? Nobody would buy it. It's not even really a blade plug because in my opinion, plugs are supposed to protect and preserve the mechanism of the blade and this engages it. So it never really gets a break if you have this on display with the crystal inside, but I activated the saber, it's red inside the saber there. And I'm gonna pop it out and it, it's just kind of gimmicky again because you bring out the crystal, it has a red look to it and then it only lasts for like a minute or two and then it kind of dims. Just something that you're paying money for that maybe you really wouldn't want to. And another thing that might drive a lot of you fans crazy of the Black Series Sabres are that the blades are not interchangeable. You can't buy new ones if something happens to them. However, they are making it easier on you guys because they actually labeled this one. It says Darth Vader right there on the label, which makes it a little easier for you to find. And then putting the blade in, there we go. There is this much blade depth that should add some security to it. Although right, right out of the gate, it's wiggling a little bit. So you're gonna to wanna to try my tape trick. If you wanna check out that really quick short, it's right up above here. Next, we're gonna put this metal ring and then we have to put the tool around the blade 
to secure the ring down. Downtown. All right, super easy. You don't have to rotate this thing five times, just like one time and it's already nice and tight. All right, guys, let's fire up this lightsaber, the newest black series. All right. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here, okay? This actually, it's better than the Princess Leia dumpster fire that I reviewed like last month. But the first thing that you're gonna notice is I'm not really messing with the volume of the audio. This thing really is really quiet. And already just doing some light Padawan level swings with the saber, I'm triggering that uh, clash effect, drives me bonkers. I am impressed with the swing sensitivity. Again, this is Padawan level because like as soon as you, just doing a basic swing, spin, you can't do one without triggering the, <laughs> the blaster deflect and hearing the metal <laughs> belt clip jingle. Padawan status, check this out guys. Great sensitivity when you're doing little baby swings, but again, It's hard to do anything with a saber without activating something. Oh, I got my hands. I got these big, you know, baseball mitt hands. Swing sensitivity is better. And let's check out the blade effects. Uh, blaster deflect. Really cool. It, white, it lights up really white, really white on the blade. Holding it down will activate lockup. And the lockup actually has this, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's like a pea green. That's kind of, the lights are activating inside of the white to give it a little texture. Yeah, that's a, a maybe like a faint yellowish pea green. Kind of cool. I'll show you guys here in the dark what that looks like. And I have to hand it to Hasbro. This is really cool. As long as the blade is up, you've got lockup. But if the blade is down, You've got tip drag, and it's an appropriate size tip drag. I think the Palpatine went up like a third of the blade. It got They got a little carried away there. But uh, the blade kind of darkens, but it activates the tip drag right next to R2-D2's head, okay? And it's working with no problem, whether the blade's up or down. Um, but the clash effect is very, very sensitive. Call this a baby spank. Bad baby. Overall, big improvements from the Leia Saber though. Woo, man. So let's compare the two Black Series. 2015, 2022. This is like twice as loud as the new one. That, and this one, no, I can't even barely trigger the clash if I wanted to. The brand new Black Series Vader, it is brighter. It is noticeably brighter when you put them side by side. I don't know if you guys can tell on the video here, but uh, it is noticeably brighter and this does have brand new batteries in it. Yeah, I'd say twice as bright, twice as bright. Let's test the sensitivity, check this out. I think both of them have great sensitivity. You just can't hear the new one. It's so quiet. So that's really the, the major selling point for the old black series is the sensitivity and the price. You should be able to find this in your neighborhood or in your area on Facebook uh, marketplace or something for like 150 if you really hunt around for it, 200 if you're feeling lazy. And now I've got like what, I think this is the 36 inch blade from Galaxy's Edge, the legacy lightsabers. Let's check out the volume. Uh, the new Vader saber and Galaxy's Edge. Whoa, dang. And the blade brightness difference is very small. The Galaxy's Edge is almost just as bright as the new Black Series Elite. So something I noticed about the Legacy Saber is that the swing sounds are kind of lazy and slow. Check this out. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
doesn't sound like it's going fast. So it's really hard to tell if the new Obi-Wan Legacy Saber, I'll put the link to that video down in the description where I think they improved the swing sensitivity of the Legacy lightsabers or the Obi-Wan has a higher pitched swing sound effect that makes it sound like it might be activating faster and kind of like one of those Disney tricks, like in Space Mountain where they put fans on your face and they make you feel like you're moving faster when you're not. Might be one of those like audio illusions, I'll call it. Only effect that the Legacy Sabers have is Clash. And the whole blade Clash is yellow. It's kind of a dim yellow, it's very fast. Not nearly as bright and white as this Clash effect. So this Black Series Elite lightsaber has tons of effects, you guys, tons of them. For, for the price, if they're not working very well, I mean, I like barely swinging this thing. So just be aware of that. If you, if you, you know, like to enjoy your sabers and turn them on a lot, if you're gonna really do any kind of geeking out with it, you're gonna, the clash keeps going off. Oh, and I can't forget to mention to you guys the battle mode. What you do is you press blaster block four times, hold it on the fifth. And it triggers the sound of a lightsaber battle going on. Comment down below, is this cool or just like, eh, not so much. It's still going on. You might be able to do like a, a, a fun little choreography with a friend or family member or something, uh, but it's short and it just has some cool clashing sound effects like you're battling with somebody. And you could probably pretend to battle. So is it worth the $280 price tag? By next year, I'm confident these will be going for $295 at the $300 level, rising you know, equally if not more with inflation. Overall, the swing sensitivity was great. The features, you know, still triggering that blast deflect drives me nuts. And I don't even know what to use to get this belt clip to quit wiggling. But let's say some of you guys are just going to put it on display. I wouldn't buy this, I would buy the Legacy lightsaber. If you don't use your saber a lot, this is awesome for display and it's only $150 retail. Maybe a little extra with shipping commission. Our official Galaxy's Edge smuggler, Kevin, contact him with anything you need from Galaxy's Edge or Disney World. But if you're really going for price, the cheapest price you can get, hunt around for an older Black Series. The blade doesn't come out, but you should be able to get the whole saber and blade for 150, where the legacy is 200 for both, and this is almost $300. I also can't forget to mention it comes with a cool stand. It has the design of the Death Star in the background, um, which is appropriate for this saber, not so appropriate for like an Obi-Wan or a Leia saber. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I'm impressed with this. Thank goodness it mostly all works. And it does really give me hope for the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber coming out soon. It's really tough if, uh, if I think you guys should pick this up for the price. Um, you also might want to consider spending a little bit more. If you're almost at $300, for an extra $100, $150, you can get a full NeoPixel, 20 sound fonts, a Darth Vader lightsaber from Art Sabers, and I did that review recently too. I'll put that at the end of the video to check out for you guys if you want. So let me know what you guys think of this lightsaber. Stay safe out there, guys, and make sure to have an awesome Star Wars day. Yeah. See you next time, guys. Yeah.